Hi again. Uh, I'd like to continue the discussion of Swift. And uh, in the last two videos, I talked about arrays and dictionaries. And right here, I'd like to kind of follow those up with a couple other little notes to complete the topic. Um, so here I am in Swift, and I'm going to open up a new playground. And I'll just give it a name. I'll say arrays and dictionaries, right? Um, and I'll save it. Um, to my folder here <clears throat> and anyway so here here we are and what I'd like to do is I'd like to make an array so I'll say you know um, let's make an array of colors so I'll say colors equal and uh, you know I'll make it red green and blue, and there's my array. It's got three strings in it. Each is the name of a color, okay? Now, I use the var um, keyword here, so this makes a mutable array. That is, the array can be changed, so the number of items in here, you can add and delete them and um, or modify them, right? Um, if I was to make um, an array with let, like let's call this one, um, how about, uh, um, actions, right? And, uh, this will be like tap, swipe, and, uh, I don't know, uh, press. Okay. So, you know, Swift is fine that I created this array here with the let keyword. Um, and it's happy to, to define an array that has three strings in it. Um, now the difference in let and var again is that you know var is mutable, that is it can be changed, and let is immutable, it cannot change. So you know if I was to go down here and say, you know, colors dot append, and I want to add a new item here called you know orange, then you know um, Swift is fine with that, and I'll, I'll open this up here so we can see the value. So you can see Swift is fine, and it's added orange to the array. If I said, you know, actions, and I wanted to append, and I wanted to append a new app action here called a double tap, um, then, you know, Swift is going to give me an error saying that, you know what, this, this actions array is immutable. You cannot change it, um, so you're not allowed to add a new item to it, okay? So you can see it says, you know, immutable value type string only has mutable members, blah, 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 can't append, right? Um, so I'm, I'm not allowed to append something to this. Um, so, uh, so anyway, so there you go. Um, here's another note. Uh, let me actually put that back there, and you know what I'll do is I'll just put a comment on it, okay? Um, to change the value in an array, you can do this. So if I was, if you know, I like green there, or maybe red, but what I want to do is I want to, um, I want to change these to uppercase or something. So I'll say colors, you know, item zero, so that would be red for us, right? And what I want to do is I want to change the value to red, so it's an uppercase R, okay? And you can see here that the value is now changed. And then let's try that with actions, right? So if I say actions, and then I want to say, you know, item zero, right? And I want to set the value to, um, oh, it's tap, so maybe I'll do uppercase tap. And you can see that, uh, you know, this is an immutable array, and so the items inside or the elements inside also are considered immutable, and it doesn't, Swift doesn't want to allow me to do that. It says, you know, value, blah, blah, blah. I know this is not a very great, um, very great message there. It's hard to follow that, but this is saying essentially like we can't change it. So, you know, once we use let, things are kind of set and they're not going to change, okay? And a lot of times in your programs, you'll find that you have values that, that don't change, in which case let is perfectly fine to use and, and probably more efficient. Um, on the other hand, if you have elements that need to change over time, then you're going to have to use var. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let's do the same thing with, uh, with the dictionary for fun. 
So let's imagine, you know, I have a, a dictionary called user and my user um, is going to have, you know, a name of Smith and a, um, a uh, age of 34 and um, well maybe we'll leave it at that right so I got the name and the age and this is declared with var right so I'm allowed to change the value so I can say you know user dot um, or wait brackets name is Smith but maybe I want to change it to um, Garner okay and then that's fine. I see the change over here for name. And uh, maybe I want to say, you know, user bracket uh, age equals, you know, 35. And, you know, Swift is, is happy with that too. Um, what if I made a, a dictionary using let? Okay, so we'll say let and we'll say... Um, uh, let's say um, choices, and your choices are left, and the value here will be 1, and uh, the other choice is going to be right, and the value will be 2, and then this will be straight and the value will be three, right? Um, and, you know, Swift is happy for me to, you know, define a dictionary like this. But if I want to um, change the value, then, you know, I'd go to choices here and I'd say, okay, well, let's change the value of left. Oops, I gotta use some quotation marks there, right? Um, and I wanna set the value to, you know, 30, you know, two or something, right? then um, it gives me an error saying like, you know, this is not identical to whatever, which is kind of confusing, but essentially it's saying like, hey, you know what, you used let here, and this is a fixed immutable thing, and you're not allowed to change the values there, okay? So anyway, there's a quick um, little f recap and follow up on some other details with arrays and dictionaries.